Hey friends, this is Christopher Davis Shannon, and today I am checking in with my friend Emmett Druden. Emmett, how you doing, man? What's up, man? I'm doing pretty good, you know, I'm just bearing the storm. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Where are you at now? So I'm up in, um, in I'm in Philadelphia, um, in the neighborhood of Mount Airy. So uh, um, lots of greenery up here, you know, we're doing a lot of walking, but mostly just playing, man. That's it. Yeah, I feel it's nice. I live I live right on the edge of where Fairmount Parks Park starts. So I know, every day awesome. I get to wake up and, and take a little walk and still manage to avoid people, which is a lovely thing in this day and age. That's um, the name of the game. Yeah, man. So we'll talk a little bit more in a minute, but Emmett, how about you kick us off with a tune? Sounds good. Mama, please don't go. Oh, the way I love you, you'll never know. Yes, come back, baby. Let's talk it over one more time. I love you, baby. Tell the world I do. I don't want nobody else but you yes come back baby let's talk it over A long train, mean engineer, oh, took my baby, left me standing here. Yes, come back, baby, let's talk it over. If I get holler like a mountain jack. I climb that mountain, call my baby back. Yes, come back, baby. Let's talk it over one more time. Come on now. Yes, come back, baby. Mama, please don't go. Oh, the way I love you, you'll never know. Yes, come back, baby. Let's talk it over Ooh, one more time. Yeah, man. Thank That's you. what I like to hear. What was the name of that tune? That's a song called Come Back Baby. Oh, right. I it's like that. That's an old tune, um, but a Van Rock arrangement. Of course. For those of you movies. listening that aren't familiar with the great Dave Van Rock, you, uh, you need to go read the book, The Mayor of McDougal Street, right you now. And, you also and then go, go listen to some of his recordings. Exactly. <laughs> well, you should go on YouTube. There's one of the best live concerts I've ever seen of him on YouTube. You were you were just telling me about that. We about that. Yeah. Evan and I played a gig together. Actually, one of the last gigs I think I did before we got locked down in Philly over at the uh, the Mermaid Inn. We were we were both nerding out about Dave Van Rock, who was a huge influence on both of us when we were we started playing this style of uh, finger style guitar. He was really one of those those great like torchbearers in the Greenwich scene village in the fifties and sixties. Man, I mean that was he was the one really keeping it alive for so long and. And maybe them. didn't quite get the notoriety of some of the other players that, that came out of the scene, unfortunately. Not nearly enough. 
No, but he mentored a lot of those people. Oh my God, uh, I know. So I mean, there's there's a lot to be said for his influence on on American music in the last half century or so. Yeah. Uh, so Evan, I know uh, you just came out with a record last year, right? I did, yeah. Um, uh, all, tight all, Walker. Tightrope Walker, and it's all original tunes on there. All original tunes. Um, it was kind of based around. It was an idea that. Uh, I was playing at the Mermaid one night, and a friend of mine, uh, Ray Bailey, who's uh, the executive producer of this record, is a great, great uh, upright bass player. Um, he walked into the Mermaid. We hadn't seen each other in about five years, and you know, we were in a band years ago, and you know, it ended bad. And you know, we were at the recording <laughs> studio. We all walked out of the studio. No recording was ever made. That hey, that's the way a band should end. That's the yeah, way exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, it was the best way it could have ended, you know. And then. Um, he walked in, he was like, hey man, I really want to, you know, start making another record. So we spent, man, we spent way too long on this record. We spent two and a half years on it. Um, <laughs> but that's because we did a lot of it down here, like right in this room. This yeah, guy was yeah. all over that. Um, you know, we did all the drums down here and then we actually finished it up at Rittenhouse Soundworks. But all, nice. yeah, all, all original tunes and then um, kind of developed uh them into um like develop you know what came out of the the record i think for me that i that i'm happiest with is that uh the band was formed a six-piece band cool. um, and yeah. uh the connections that i made through uh through that uh process and like establishing you know the bandmates that i have now really was a huge thing yeah there's re there's really no feeling like finding those people that you really want to play with i, I know for me it was my current lineup, it was, it was probably a five-year search before I had oh my God, the personnel yeah. that I needed. We, we both know like the amount of talent in this city is, is crazy, but there's, there's so much more than just competency on your instrument when it comes to, to sure. having people in a permanent position in your band. Um, so with that, let's, uh, let's hear one of the tunes off that record, Emmett. Sounds good. Cool. Well, so this record, a lot of old songs because it was like, you know, two and a half years to make so all the songs were older so it was actually come from a time where i was flat picking more um okay. so a lot of these tunes are, are um flat pick tunes and um this song in particular um this song is a uh it's called secret sound sealed in an old rusted can that can blow this house down and every morning I find a new hiding spot it weighs like a hundred pounds oh this secret can I don't think with my head 20 minutes of fun and then it sinks in I gotta hide it again oh this secret and how does it feel I see it in your eyes, tripping over my lies. And oh, does it hurt? Well, emotions run high, I got death in my eyes. Well, I used to be noble and I never did lie. But now I'm getting older. Tick tock, and then we just die. Time is making me colder. Oh, this secret. And how does it feel? I see it in your eyes, tripping over my life. 
And no does it hurt Well emotions run high I got death in my eyes Maybe I'm wrong Then there's golden gates And all the sadness is ours We'll sing in marble halls And an angel takes my hand And I'll see him again But until he's still high That was beautiful. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. So if we want to hear that with the six-piece band, where can we do that? You can do that on Spotify, Bandcamp, Apple. You can do anything. Pretty much All anywhere. All the things. It's everywhere. Cool. It's absolutely <laughs> everywhere. So with the full Wonderful. Band. That's yeah. what I like to hear. So I know you've been doing a lot of the live stream stuff. Yeah. Um, in this day and age. When, when can we catch you playing live online? So Friday nights, um, every week, 8 o'clock, um, and then Sunday mornings at 11 a.m., I've done no repeats yet. All right. We're getting, we're getting close to probably having, I think I've done six or seven of them. So it's getting, getting close. To <laughs> I hope you're doing some good gospel on Sunday morning. At least. <laughs> I'm trying, you know, that's the whole thing is always just that one thing that I've experienced with this whole thing is that just it's going through your repertoire and really like trying to get the most out of it. You can, and just try yeah. to continue yeah. to evolve the tunes. Um, and yes, always adding gospel, you know, that's, that's a priority. Yeah, it's a great excuse to get some of those Reverend Gary Davis songs, uh, you know, out of here. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah, what that's you what need. Doing. Great change since I was born, man. It's a great song. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's play one last tune here, Rabbit. What, what do you have for us? I'm going to do a new one um, that I've been messing around with the last few months. Um, and it's, um, it's about a um, guy who goes out drinking uh meets a meets a lovely person at uh at the dance hall and um loses him, himself dancing and then uh but but then eventually drinks too much and loses this lady or person or whoever this and, is a relatable um, story on it yes and then the next day waking up and realizing you know what i was dancing last night and um maybe i don't need to drink anymore because <laughs> finally i was dancing it's called lost my shoes on the dance floor Waking up with the blues Oh, and I think I lost my shoes somewhere last night on the dance floor I'm not much with my feet Oh, but last night it was me dancing on the dance floor But it must have been you who pushed me through Oh, you're so special You're so special
The last thing I remember was holding you, rocking back and forth from the dance floor. Your chin on my shoulder, oh, was a mighty fine number. But then I threw a few back, and somehow I lost track. What did I do? Waking up cold and alone again. Cold and alone again. But today, oh, today I'll get upright and walk by those doors. Last night I was dancing, I don't need to drink no more. Dancing free, oh, I think that I was. My feet are sore from dancing and my heart is made of wood for you. ba da 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 ba da ba ba That's beautiful. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you, man. I love that. But thank Evan, you. thank you so much for uh, for joining me today and playing some tunes. Um, everyone out there, I'm going to drop links to all of Emmett's music and also digital chip jar for him in the description on this video so you can check you. out more of what he's doing. And hopefully everyone will be able to see him playing in real life very, very soon because uh, I assure you that he puts on one heck of a show. Oh, thanks, um, man. Emmett, why don't you play us out, man? Sure. Thanks, Chris. It's an honor, man. I appreciate it. Thank you.